<laughs> yeah, role playing. This is after all, I am not on an RP server, unfortunately. Because I know the lore of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, is something taken seriously by a great many people. And by a great many, I mean like no one, I guess. There must be an RP server. There's an RP server on everything, right? Prune juice, a warrior's drink. At least in WoW you can be a giant panda. Yes, I have the strength to live by the sword. When do I actually get to do anything? Any sword stuff? Okay. It's that way. Slay stuff. How do I get there? If I go up. Some, somewhere? No. Oh, that's what the wall things are for. For posting f f posters. Let me cast this poster onto the wall. That seems like a good use of my time. Casting posters. Ugh! So I've always felt weird about MMOs, because I really like City of Heroes a lot. Uh, I think that actually was a genuinely good game. I mean, I was 13, but it, it was everything I wanted out of an MMO. It was ridiculous character customization, mostly. It was, uh, you know... <sighs> it had, the combat was fine. It was action-y in a way, which was interesting. Where's the screen, green one? Unholy Matrimony. Where's... Is that in there? Yes. Thank you. Dun, ba, dun. Yep, this is a Final Fantasy game, I can confirm. Somewhere, it is 11. 54 a.m. I know. What's Eorza time? Uh, okay. Where do I go to do the thing that I need to do? So I'm there. Assume I go to Western. This way? No, I know you played a bunch of Star Trek uh, online, which I tried, and it was, I mean, it could have been more Star Trek. I would have played it for longer if it was more actual what I want from Star Trek, which is really just flying around space, uh, uh, earning bigger ships, which I guess you do. But I never got into that game that much. I think City of Heroes is better because the character customization is more of a thing. Because in Star Trek Online, let's go, yep, I'm gonna put everyone in uh, the next generation uh, costume gear and call it a day. That's the costume I'm going with. Uh, I guess it's that one. Um, so, where do I want to go? So, I want to go to. Jesus. Central Thunderland, I'm under. Where is Central Thin around? That way. Yep, 
Yeah, I assume eels of time is the time. I assume it relates to some. Probably in, that's probably Japan. I would assume uh, where eels of time relates to. I guess the server is in the UK though, because server time is my time. Eels of time. Oh no, eels of time goes. No, I guess they have a day-night cycle. I thought when I first saw that that it would just relate to a time somewhere else in the world. Oh, the Chocobo Keep. Chocobo Keep. Chocobos, as they are called. It is really weird that this gates everything. Unless this is technically a city. And not all areas gated. Because no, it's it's not. This is Okay, that's really weird. Most MMOs don't gate things like that. City Heroes did, but that was also years ago. It's like over ten now. Level one Star Mammoth. Yeah, this this uh, what this is. This is a uh, massively multiplayer online video game. This is an MMO. So I'm gonna press one a few times, and that guy's gonna get dead. I can just sit back and let them attack. Isn't even any tension here. Whew. Like I would, on some intellectual, intellectual level, be really interested in playing a large amount of time into an MMO and then writing my experience with it. But as I'm not hired by any game writing place, I ain't gonna do that on my own time. There are good video games to play and analyze. I don't know why I did this. This is a terrible mistake. I think RPG as a game type is very, very hard to bring into the massively multiplayer space. I don't know why that's the one that they did. I mean, I guess you can't really do any. But the somehow this would be better in single player. There's something about the lie of permanence that you are given in a just a, a game. Like, so bravely default right now. Obviously turn-based battles, so I prefer the battle system a lot. But ultimately, it's a game where you go about collecting stuff, doing stuff, quests for people, and fight. It's a, it's a very similar game, but it feels more satisfying. And I don't know why. I mean, I probably will. It's, for one, we've got the combat. But The Witcher, say, the first Witcher game had very similar combat to an MMO. I know Final Fantasy XII has a system that is very similar to an MMO. Um, there's something about having your own world which you have control over, having it a, also a fixed endpoint as well. Look, I guess maybe MMOs are more honest in that way, and they reveal how pointless everything that these kind of system-driven games are. They're just filling up bars, that's all you do. You, Press buttons to fill up bars to press buttons to fill up bars. Uh, and that's all you do in single player RPGs as well. I mean, they have the story things and slightly more satisfying battle mechanics. But ultimately. Well, what's the secret? I, I, you lost my train of thought because you're a minute behind my pontificating. I think they were saying that ultimately it's the lie of permanence. I assume that was the secret. Uh, control over your world and everything. Whereas MMOs are just those systems and taking out the context for them 
reveals their pointlessness. I obtained two animal skins though, so fuck all y'all, is what I'm saying. Yep. I wonder if I will beat this guy. Now what is that? Is that a... That's a fast blade. Okay, I guess I should cast that as well. Hey, what up? The, the there is something about that in challenge of mastering the game in a way you can never do with an MMO because an MMO is a series of challenges which becomes an excuse to hang out with cool people which is fine but I think games like shoot I haven't played it and I do not have the time to get into it though I'm Tempted from time to time. Uh, I would assume stuff like Dota does that better. In that it's just a sport, essentially. It's just a bunch of games. You play a game every thing, and then you get better as time goes on. And there's no end game, it's just the game improving at the skills. And those are not very skill based. Oh, I guess there are. I guess when you get into raids and stuff. There's lots of teamwork and stuff going on, and they do get gameplay interesting, but there is... The structure is very... You know. Also, they're slow as all hell. Let me kill this hornet. This is no The Matrix Online, I'll tell you right now. I say, having never played the late Matrix Online. Remember when The Matrix... That sentence was going to have a rest of it, but I actually thought it worked better ending there. Where the hell are snapping shoes? Wait, was that a snapping shoe? No, you're a star moment. Sorry, full name. Ha, <laughs> no. I'm going to take this guy on and I'm going to win. I obtained a pot of honey. Yup. Man. MMOs, right? Kind of said my thing on as I went into the interesting. Now, so now I'm just killing things to fill up bars, and boy, did I make a mistake!